So the boards that you started building under the Stuart label, then I was under the misconception. I, th I, I just thought of that era and I thought long boards and I thought high performance long boarding. That's what I'm famous for. Yeah. And that's because I invented a whole bunch of things in the modern longboard. I, I am the, I motivated everybody to come back to longboards. I, we, me and uh, Mike Beshin, it was, he was the best man at my wedding, Shane's father. And when we ran a T street surf contest and everybody dredged out these old longboards. And as I was riding them, I was like, and this is in the seventies. I was like, why are these boards so crappy? Why are they so slow? Why can't you hit the lift? Why does a short board go nuts and these things drag through the water? Well, it's a sailboat displacement hull versus a hydroplane plane inefficient hull. That's the big difference. So that's when I go, okay, I'm going to down rail these things. I'm going to put three fins and I put the, that's when I came up with the three and a quarter side fin 16 inches up on that placement. And that's kind of the, it's the standard of the industry worldwide. So is that the hydro hull design? Yeah. The beveled, the hydro hull was the beveled rail, three concaves, concave in the nose, double concave tail, beveled rail. And the, the six inch, I started with a six inch back fin and little three and a quarter side fins. And in all the contests, there was a, a the nose 360 was a big deal to do that trick. And me and two other guys or three other guys were really, really good at that. Backside 360s, front side ones. I'd do two on one wave and still hang 10. So it was cool as hell. The hydro hole design, though, um, wasn't specific to longboard versus shortboard. It was it a shortboard. It was a shortboard. Okay. Yeah, it was a six, I think it was a six, four shortboard. It's in the book Essential Surfing. And it's a shortboard that initially I sh designed all that on. The beveled uh, rail. Well, I was just thinking. The hydro hull is the beveled rail. That's what I was thinking is those design elements could be applied to any size board though, right? Absolutely. Yeah. The bigger the board, the better it works. Okay. And so uh, the whole, the, there's a snowboard company that from Battalion Snowboard Company showed up here and they said, oh, we copied your beveled rail off your surfboards. And that's the company I did that you don't know this, but see that snowboard hanging up there? Yeah. That's from 1981. Oh, wow. Okay. So we'll have to get into that someday. Yeah, I know that you <laughs> designed a line of snowboards. I didn't know. Well, yeah, and, that... and there's wakeboards, snowboards, scurfers, all this different stuff. And uh, But the Hydra Hall set a standard. It was so far above everything out there at that time, it brought a whole bunch of baby boomers back into the sport. Because what happened was, as... As boards got too short for older, heavier, married men with children, right. <laughs> and they put on 50 pounds, then they're like, they quit surfing. So then when they saw a longboard going straight vertical and doing figure eight roundhouses, they went, holy crap, I want to do that. So they got, a, it resurged a whole group of people. Yeah. Uh, was that the introduction of what we now know as the two plus one mm -hmm. fin setup? Yeah. Had you seen that anywhere else or was that? I don't think so. I don't remember, but I've always messed with fins. I was, I'd take jigsaws and cut the back of my fin out. We called it squirreling out your skeg in the sixties. Okay. And that big D fins, we would just cut it. It would make a raked fin and foil them way better. And the board changed the d dynamics of the board dramatically. So I've always, you know, messed with fins. I have a wing fin that I put a giant wing on and uh, I still have it. It's here somewhere. Uh, and it held the tail down. And I won that 17 pound bronze trophy in Florida, hanging 10, the longest against Herbie Fletcher, David Nueva and all the Dale Dobson. And I won $3,000 on a fin design. I mean, kind of a precursor to the foil, right? It's the reverse of a foil. The foil lifts, right? This pulled the tail down. I foiled it underneath. So it lit, it's a backwards wing to suck the, it on an airplane, it would crash. But on a surfboard, it held the tail down. So all these, see, it's really, it, this is what people don't understand. People say, oh, he's a really good shaper. Really, what has he done? Not much. What does Rep he Replicate other designs, essentially, it. yeah. 90% of the shapers look over the fence. They haven't done or designed or created anything. 